We've grown up with crime shows like CSI, where they can test a person's genome in an hour. While that's great for a TV show, that's not the reality of laboratory medicine. I am Dr. Rob Pyatt, and I'm gonna take you into the Kane University COVID testing lab to explain step-by-step -step exactly what's going to happen. Step one, the accessioner take out the sample and they'll use a scanner to scan electronically that sample. That information then will be passed into our computer system and they'll verify that the information is the same. Those samples are passed over where technicians will take them and begin the second step where they'll add a sample to a plastic plate along with chemicals and put it into a machine that will remove the viral genome to allow us to actually test for it. In step three, our molecular technicians will take those samples to actually set up the test for COVID-19. What that test does, it actually looks for three different parts of the viral genome, allowing us to determine which of those samples are positive for the virus and which are negative and which ones might be inconclusive and we have to retest. Once they're done with that, they'll enter that information into our electronic database and that information is released to medical professionals. Everything I've described to you is based around two things, safety of everybody involved in the process and the accuracy of the results that we are releasing. So why isn't there just an instant test for the COVID-19? Laboratories are working on this right now and nobody wants it more than me. But what we have right now is the need for a high degree of sensitivity and specificity. The ability to detect the virus in a majority of samples that were sent. And because of that, you have to have complex machinery like we do in our lab, which can take a little bit of time to operate. And that's what happens within the Kane University Clinical Diagnostic Lab.